Hey guys, bit of a casual video here is you could probably tell I'm having a little bit of um, uh, voice issues. So this is going to be slightly harder for me to film. Um, wanted to do a weekly update. Last week we were on vacation. So if you look over at the map, we got some new pins in the map. We drove from Georgia to Baton Rouge, spent the night there, finished, get, went to Galveston. Really nice place if you've never been. Went to Houston, went to the Space Center with the kids, um, and then went to San Antonio, visited the Alamo and Natural Bridge Caverns, really cool place to visit, um, and then went up to Fort Worth, did the uh, Fort Worth Stockyards, um, went to Arlington and saw a Rangers game. Um, the Padres pitcher, who the Rangers were playing, the Padres, the Padres pitcher, he pitched a fur the first Padres no-hitter in Padres franchise history. All right, so Musgrove has thrown 9.2 innings, 110 pitches. If he gets this last out, he has thrown a no-hitter. Musgrove for San Diego. I, I've never heard of him before today, but we are here, and we are about to watch a no-hitter if he gets this last out. That's it! That's it! He threw a no-hitter! That's awesome! Good job, dude! So that was kind of cool to see that. We were kind of rooting for the Rangers, and then we kind of shifted about halfway through the game. I'm a Marlins fan. My wife's a Braves fan. So, um, you know, we really didn't have a dog in the fight. But that was kind of cool. But the reason I'm like this is I've been taking allergy medicine. The... Arlington had like this freak windstorm come through right after the game. And I mean, it was like 25, 30 mile an hour winds and it was blowing all that pollen right up in my face. And so like I started draining. I don't know if you guys like, and so I've been cough dropping it. And so I was going to film, I was actually tonight, I was going to film the rest of the podcast. I'm doing the first half of the summary for the eye of the world. Um, uh, before I left on the trip, I filmed the prologue and chapter one and two, and I was going to jump in, probably make it about chapter 30. And um, <clears throat> I was going to film that, and I was like, there's no way with my voice like it is right now that I could even get close to doing that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and film this video, tell you about what I did last week, and then hopefully by Friday I can get the podcast filmed, edited, and done if this will go away. This is my hope. Hope. Um, also getting ready for Thursday, doing the live stream on John Adams. Um, once we get John Adams done, um, if you want to be part of the live stream, please let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure Christy Lewis is joining us on it. Um, I'm hoping that a couple other people join as well. I'm going to post something in the discord whenever this video goes live to see if anybody else wants to come. It'll be 9 PM Thursday evening, this coming up Thursday. So, uh, today is the 12th. So it'll be 13th, 14th, 15th. Um, excited for it. Got a bunch of notes. Um, and then we get to jump in and do Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson looks like it's probably going to take all of April and probably May because um, we're starting it so late. But uh, um, try to think what I read this week. While I was out of town, Listen to Black by Ted Decker. Put a picture up uh, somewhere. I'll put a picture up. Um, Black by Ted Decker, it was very, very good. It was an allegory on the original sin. So most people probably know the story of Adam. Adam is the first man. Um, and we get into this story where um, Thomas is a man from our time. He gets shot in the head. He wakes up in another reality, fantasy world, where our world is a history. But he every time he goes to sleep, he switches back and forth. So he goes to sleep in our world, he goes there, he goes to sleep there, he comes back. And so he never gets any sleep. Every time he's sleeping, he's somewhere else. Well, when he gets there, he meets a woman, and it's a world of perfect love. So imagine Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, where they had perfect love, um, and just how life was then, how choosing to love, the pursuit of love, was so much more important and vital and um I thought that was just super, super, super cool. Um, the way that they they did that and portrayed that. Um, the story is heartbreaking at the end. You see the original sin. And 
man, it was killer. Really, 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 really good. Listen to that. Most of it on the way back, um, we did like 13, 14 hours from Dallas to Georgia all in one go. And uh, my wife drove most of Louisiana and I did everything else. Um, so having a little bit of throat stuff and doing that, it was kind of rough, but, uh, you know, it, that's road trips, right? Um, also read a little bit of the 12 Kings of Shankiri, almost done with it at about 80% on the Kindle. Um, need to finish that up before the end of the month, because I've actually, I've been working on almost three months now. Um, I was buddy reading that with my friend, Rowdy Bob. I think he took a social media break and canceled all his social medias because I can't find him. Um, so hopefully he comes back. I've been responding to his comments in the Discord. If you guys are interested in 12 Kings of Shinkiri, um, you can go down there. We've been using spoiler tags. Um, and if he does come back and join the channel again, um, you know, we'll, we'll do that again. Um, great guy. Um, but I understand sometimes you got to take a social media break. I'm trying to read an echo of things to come. Not that, um, it was hard to do. It was, it's an easy, easy read. It's fun when I get into it. I've just been so tired because we were driving and driving and driving, going and doing something, driving, 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 go do something, driving. So we got back to the hotel and man, I just conked out every night. Um, so it was really, really tough for me. We actually listened to Harry Potter, um, let the, let the kids listen to Harry Potter and also listen to some of Aragon. Um, I kept going with it once we got back cause my son doesn't appear to love it. Um, which, you know, I, man, I'm noticing things in Aragon this time around that I didn't notice. Um, when I read it the first time, I remember it being great. And I thought, man, how did an 18 year old write this book? It's so, so good. And then I'm listening to it now going, okay, I get it. Yeah. This definitely feels like an 18 year old wrote this. Um, and the audiobook narrator that I've got, I don't know if it's different anywhere else. I got it from the library. I hate his Sephiro voice. It is awful. It is so bad, his Sephiro voice in the audiobook. So bad. So bad. Um, so that's everything I've been reading. Um, well, oh, actually, no. Today started the fall of Hyperion, read to chapter three. Three, so I read chapter one and two, and then Lost Fleet. I read the first twelve or fifteen pages. Um, I try to read a little bit of this every day. I when I'm doing Lost Fleet, I try to do the first chapter. So maybe before the end of the night, I'll finish up the chapter. I think I've got another tw ten or twelve pages to finish the chapter. But started both of those, so I kind of have a bunch of things in the process going right now, which is generally fine. I don't mind having a bunch of things going because I can usually keep up with it. And then, um, you know, if you follow me on Goodreads, I've got Chaos Rising, the um, Thrawn book. I had to take that back to the library. So sometime in the next week or two, I'm going to go check that back out at the library and see if I can finish that up. But that's kind of wrapping up the week. Really, it's just been travel, um, audiobooks, and a little bit of reading when I can. Um, but I'm excited to hopefully get throat better and um, finish up the first half of the eye of the world um, podcast is so far is going great um, I've had some constructive criticism stuff watching some how to grow your podcast um, ideas I I'm really struggling with the idea of wanting to monetize um, because it's costing me to put the podcast on so all I really want to do is make it where it doesn't cost me anything if I'm giving people the service but I still feel like kind of a jerk doing that like I just, I'm not the kind of person that asks for things. Maybe, maybe I'm just a weirdo. And, um, you know, I feel, I generally feel like I can do on my own most things. I have a full time job. I'm a provider for my home. You know, I feel like if I want to put content out there, I should provide for it as well. But if I'm looking, because with the podcast you're looking at, you know, I have the host provider, which has been super helpful, Buzzsprout. Um, I'm not sponsored, but they're, if you want to start a podcast, they're the way to go. I, I, I personally really like them. Um, and then, um, and then using a trans transcribing service, um, that's going to cost a little bit of money. And there's a couple other social media things that might make the podcast work a whole lot better. Um, you know, I bought a new microphone. It was about 50, $60, um, things like that. I may eventually have to, um, put some money down on some stuff. So I really don't know. Like, 
you guys let me know. Do you think the podcast is worth paying for, or should I just not worry about it? Because personally, I'm the kind of guy that really likes not having ads on stuff. So, you know, I'd love to have my YouTube channel never have ads on it. Um, I tried a sponsorship once, didn't work out very, very well. Um, and so with the YouTube channel, I wasn't really planning on using ads, but if it's easy and you think it provides enough of a service, I may do that with the podcast. I don't know. I'm rambling. I feel like I'm really, really rambling and, um, my voice is not made for it. One thing I really want to do this week is catch up on all the YouTube videos for all my friends, um, Booktube is a community where you share your videos and you support one another. Um, and I think that it works better when people support one another. So I'm going to make an effort this week on catching up on all the videos of all my friends that um, I haven't been able to really get to lately because I've just been so busy. Um, and then the trip, the vacation, we've done two vacations in the last couple months. The really far out west trip and then this trip. So um, I'm really going to try to catch up with everybody and and be a good booktube friend to all my friends on booktube. So and then also very very backed up on reviews. Um, you probably can't see it from here, but I have a whole stack of books I needed to reviews on. I got another Dark Tower book. I've got um, the first two books in the Farseer trilogy, the Magic of Recluse, um, some some Discworld books. Um, a couple classic Dostoevsky books, really a lot of stuff I just need to review. And it's hard because sometimes you look at them and you go, man, this weekly video will do twice as good as a, as a book review. So you kind of go, man, well, what do I want to do? Do I want to just kind of shoot the stuff about talking about books or do I actually want to review the book? I don't know. I don't even know if I can use any of this content. I, I'm going to stop right now. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I, hopefully this voice thing will get knocked out and I'll feel better. But um, you guys have a wonderful week. I will talk to you again very, very soon. And uh, bye.